Hello there to all of my Geminis. This is your general reading. This is, and I am Queen Amun Ra. We're going to get your general reading out of the way so you can get some questions answered. Yes, we are still very much in the new moon in cancer phase. I love it, love it, love it. So you have made it to the other side. Kudos to you. I'm talking to you if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart. Let's go. The energy has already been clear, Gemini. So let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. Yes, we're still very much in the new moon phase in Cancer. I love it. You made it to the other side. You're more imaginative. You're sympathetic. You're protective. You're tenacious. You're very loyal. You know, too. And that's that's the uh, that's because of the moon, the moon phase that we're in right now. And also, you're very receptive. So don't be surprised if energy is just coming to you because the the moon is very magnetic right very nurturing energy right so here we have the six of swords the wheel of fortune the magician card uh-huh 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 gemini's yes don't forget to comment gemini's a lot of times i'll put your videos up earlier but a lot of times it shows later because i think what i'm starting to figure out um is I think the algorithms have a lot to do with it. When people don't comment, it doesn't get circulated as much, right? And I don't know if that has anything to do with the upload time because, I mean, craziness sometimes happens. If, especially if you're a YouTuber, you know. Sometimes you can upload videos and some people can hear it. Some people can't. Some people can hear the sound. Some people can't hear the sound. And so I've been telling you guys so far, maybe YouTube is still processing it, but I don't know if that even makes sense because some people can hear it, some people can't, or I don't know if people have their volume turned down or whatever, but... Anyway, don't forget to comment, please. Here we have the Six of Swords. We also have the Four of Swords. We also have the um, we have the Ace of Wands and the Three of Cups. Yes, the Three of Cups. All right, so let's see what else we have going on here. So like I said, lots of messages are coming through to you. There is your card right there. That's your card and Virgo's card because both of you all are ruled, both of your signs are ruled by um, Mercury. So messages are coming through to move on from something that you were you were emotionally deeply disappointed by, and just get some rest. Somebody may have been deeply disappointed by something. Just get your rest and be in a posture of gratitude, please. Your intuition is extremely heightened right now. Again, that is the moon. That's moon's energy. Remember, the moon is aligned to our feelings, subconscious habits, moods, emotions. So please just get your rest. Source, that's what Source is trying to tell everybody. Please get your rest so that you can manifest some things, right? So what I'm telling everybody as far as rest is concerned, it's just reminding you what the definition of rest is. It means to cease work or movement in order to relax, refresh oneself, or recover your strength, right? So turn off the, the phones, the, the emails, the social media for at least an hour to a day. You got 24 hours in a day. You don't need to go check this email or text message. That's how that's some people's downtime. But what you don't realize is that you're also absorbing those energies coming from social media, coming from those emails, coming from and you don't want to absorb somebody's low vibration energy and make yourself feel worse because you've taken the action to leave something behind you were deeply disappointed in, okay? All of that works together. All of that works together. So let's see what else we have here, Gemini. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Okay. All right. Somebody may have had to leave behind a romantic relationship with somebody and money was involved, but you're about to meet somebody. That's what I'm seeing right here. That's why as disappointed as you, some of you all may be to finally just say, I need to go ahead and sever ties with something. Somebody is going to meet somebody who is going to match them financially, like emotionally match you. Money is just as attracted to them as it is to you, right? They, they, they're on their king. They're on their throne, just like you're on your throne, right? And so I'm seeing financial independence for you, complete and total financial independence for you. That's the nine of pentacles. We also have the page of wands, the nine of cups, and also so the 10 of wands, somebody's going to feel like they have met their person, like they have hit the jackpot when they met their person, right? Somebody got tired of meeting gold diggers. Somebody got tired. And when I say gold diggers, I'm not talking about just money. Somebody kept, got tired of looking at you as their stability. I mean, you got tired of meeting people who looked at you as if you're their stability. It is that 
you know, like like your better half, which is like you are only giving yourself 50% credit of what you brought into the relationship. When they saw money all over you, they saw stability all over you, like they wanted to build a life with you. You're tired of attracting those kind of energy. This energy that you're attracting now, mm -mm, be totally different, completely different. Like I said, somebody's going to feel like they have hit the jackpot. So during this time of... This is a tricky time because... You're leaving one phase that you had to release some things behind, whether it's a mindset, a belief system about something, maybe relationships or your money or whatever. Source is giving you time to kind of sort of rest, like I said, reset and manifest. Somebody's going to manifest their person and that person is going to be right there on your frequency, right? So I see you leaving behind somebody that you may have felt like you've given them a thousand and one chances, right? moving forward right but so this can either mean better baggage or this can mean that you're better you choose you choose but nevertheless lots of duties and responsibilities that lie ahead so get ready i see somebody feeling energetically like a child again like a teenager again right page energy is very youthful energy so i see somebody feeling very youthful again because again you've decided to move on you've decided to move on from something yeah Sometimes people just won't budge. Their mindset, they just won't budge until some fire is put up under them. And what I mean by fire is put up under them is that source is going to have to create a situation where their money is affected or their family is affected in order for them to change their mindset, right? But some people, like somebody was in a situation where a person would just won't, they won't change their mindset. It can even be in the workplace, right? They could have been totally had no compassion for you whatsoever. Let's say you let's say you're one of your loved ones transitioned or died or whatever. In their mind, as long as they still have their loved ones, they don't even they don't even see why you're you're grieving. They don't even get it. They don't even understand until once somebody that they love dies and all of a sudden they're the most understanding person in the world because guess what? Now your face pops right in their mind. Wow, I didn't show you know, Gemini, any compassion, you know, or it didn't even seem like it, it just, it, it, it's, it's too multi-layered. Really. It's just too multi-layered. Some of you all have dealt with people like that in the workplace. Some of you all have been married to people like that. Some of you all have had those kind of people in your friendship circle where they just could not, as much as you've adjusted to them because you're a mutable sign, they somehow couldn't find it in their spirit to adjust to you, to adapt to what you were going through. So again, release it, release it, release it into the universe so that you can move forward. So source can send you what you really, really deserve, like what you really deserve. Here we have the Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm, the Knight of Cups. All right. No more trauma bonding. Somebody's going to be charging through those emotions, but no more trauma bonding with people. Trying to find out, just find anywhere where you all can bond so that you can connect with that person. No, you don't need to. All right, so let's, let's see what else we have here. You're very close to achieving your goal. You're very, very close to achieving your goal. And like I said, somebody just had to make a move. Somebody had to physically make a move and get as far away from that emotion as possible. In other words, change the channel, change the channel. So I know right now because the moon is in cancer that a lot of people are struggling emotionally. I already know that, right? Um, and that's why I want to help you all with this whole process of you moving forward beyond whatever it is you're going through emotionally. Sync with the moon because... Rest is going to be so important for you to get ready for this next phase that we're moving into, which is the first quarter moon in Libra. And that is really about balance. Libra is ruled by Venus. We're not talking about any Libras that you know, Gemini. We're talking about Libra, the zodiac sign, being ruled by a planet. Just like you are ruled by Mercury, they are ruled by Venus. Libra is the scales of justice where you're going to take that sword. It's one of your sister signs. You're going to take that sword and sever any emotions, any people, places, and things that really just don't serve your highest purpose. So it's going to be time to get to work. That's why rest is so important right now. It's like you're on vacation right now, right? You got to get back to work in a couple of days. So let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here. Five, five, five. I am optimistic. 
All right, a major shift is about to come into your life and experience and change your path's direction. Be open and stay positive. Keep your vibrations very, very high because again, imagine meeting your new person if that's what you want. And this person is gonna help change your life. Not that they are your savior because we are not each other's savior, but they're right in alignment with where you know you should be in your life and you're still lamenting over somebody you had to leave behind. This person isn't interested in trauma bonding with you. They're interested in helping to build a legacy and a life with you. And if you're still holding on to emotions of something that you had to leave behind, it's going to be very, very difficult to see. You It's going to be very difficult to see who they are. So pack it up and move on. Like I said, you've been enlightened. You've given some people chance after chance after chance. It's time for you to move on, okay? All right, so get your rest, and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.